Woodlands Community College in Southampton has faced many challenges, including behaviour and attendance issues. Since the introduction of one-to-one -one tuition just seven weeks ago, they have witnessed a marked improvement in the attitude of the students involved in the programme. We have a full comprehensive range of pupils. Um, some students come to us with significant learning difficulties, but we also have a significant number of children who are able, gifted and talented. Um, however, the, uh, the, the children on intake are below national averages as far as levels of attainment are concerned when they come to us in Year 7. What we're doing with the numbers and then... Woodlands is participating in the national challenge. This means that we need to ensure that 30% or more of our students leave the school having achieved five or more higher grade passes at GCSE, including English and Maths. So, um, go back to um, this as a rhetorical question. Are you infected? In 2008, 17% of pupils achieved five or more higher grade passes, including English and Maths. 2009, this rose to 21%. So we still have a significant step to take to um, get higher than the 30% floor target set by the government. Um, we've put in place a range of strategies to help our students achieve those, um, those percentages required of us. Uh, and one of the strategies that we've put in place is the one-to-one -one tuition. 3x. Shanice? In Woodlands, we've got a full intervention programme um, right across every key stage, from Year 7 right up to Year 11. The one-to-one -one is different because of the way it's a specific focus on a child. When I teach it, it's some of the most exhausting teaching I've ever done. The reason being it's a full-on focus with that child. It enables you to see very quickly where the gaps are and actually completely personalise the learning to the child. Initially there was, a, I think, a lot of confusion. The kids felt maybe that they were identified as not being good at maths and that's why they were having extra help. But actually to explain to them that we thought that they could be great at maths and showing that they could be great at maths, it's just key skills that they were missing that they needed to be able to do has really turned it around. There have been some difficulties with pupils, um, an initial reluctance to turn up to the sessions because they felt that they were being singled out a little, um, felt that they were, why, why were they being the ones being picked on? Now actually the kids are really proud to be able to say, I've been selected for one-to-one -one tutoring. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to use our calculator and use working these numbers out as powers to start investigating some of these rules so that we can move on to answering questions like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we look at this. One pupil, here. Courtney, she had been excluded for quite a while and there was a very strong chance that she was going to be removed from the school. But because she's been given this opportunity and she, I think, she knows that um, she is uh, prized highly as a pupil and people have given up uh, precious time to give her one to one tuition, it has changed her behaviour. And she is now able to feel confident in class. Like that man there, look. It looks like he's done it with that or whatever. He's got like a hook. Mm -hmm. But go back to this. So what can you imagine? Well, when I first like got told I was doing math, I was like, oh my god, like math sort of thing. But then when you get into it, it's like completely different. You just don't expect it to be how it is. So I quite, I, it's good fun. Like you can have a laugh and stuff like that, but then it can be serious at the same time. If I did say 15 equals five times something, how would I find out what that missing number is? You'd divide it. Brilliant, I'd divide 15 three? by five, which is three. Good, because I did. 15 divided by five, I said, so, so how many So you've got to do how many numbers go into there? Good, and you're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to do 64 divided by two to the power of four. Is that very good? The change in Courtney has been quite dramatic. Courtney um, was actually taught in one of our off-site centres last year because of her behaviour. And she, when she came back, she was quite overwhelmed about how much she had to catch up and almost just completely daunted by the task. And the change in her of actually coming to the sessions, she's realising it's much more manageable. Her self-esteem has gone up massively. She no longer thinks that she's actually bad at maths. She realises she's just missed some key things and she's going and working on them in her, in her own time. And she's coming and showing me work that, that she's done in lessons that's been, that's been graded, that she's really proud of. I'm like more like confident within myself like in class. I'll actually be like, oh, I know the answer and stuff like that. So. Like, I'm just, like, so happy because, like, everyone's just, like, complimenting me on that sort of side of it as well. 
I'm a full-time member of staff at, at Woodlands um, with a very busy working week. So I've used my one-to-one -one tuition time on a Saturday um, to target pretty hard-to-reach children. Initially, for some of those, there was some resistance in terms of coming into school on a Saturday. But little things, a cup of tea on a arrival, for example, have made all the difference and now have very good attendance. What I'd like you to do is have a look at it. Tell me what you can see. It's a person's face and it looks like it might be like a fire person because it looks like a fire helmet. With regards to Charlene, who didn't see? contribute to classroom discussions, seemed too shy to and wasn't, didn't seem able to put pen to paper to explain any of her, any of her comments. What I've noticed now, she's a completely different pupil. Um, she is one of the few who will always put her hands up because she knows it and she wants, she's not ashamed to let us know. Why would anybody want to go to a museum if there's a chance that they're going to be infected with something? Surely that's a glutton for punishment. Because people like getting scared and like getting bothered about stuff. Mm. So they go there and it's for more fun. And then they're like... Mm. It's like for thrill seekers. Yeah, yeah, can you think of any other entertainments you can compare this to? Any other forms of entertainment where people yeah. like... Posters? To, yeah. It's helping her do her writing and stuff because she's doing this at school and then she's coming home, she's helping me. So that's really good. Yeah, cos I've kind of got a... I've got a book which Joy gave me and um, I can just flip through and read it and then I could, like, understand it a bit and help her, to help her learn it. Four miles of jogging, 40 minutes of team building, Three hours of classroom study. That's probably enough. Okay. What are they saying? It tell it tells them what they do, they've do or they've done to be um, a firefighter. Yeah, absolutely. It's about the training that's taking place. There are many reasons why students do not make the progress expected, including lack of attendance, discipline issues, and some completely out of the control of the school. We have children as part of the programme that actually still struggle with their, their reading. They're bright kids. One of the kids that I, I teach personally, um, right through primary school, um, was actually identified as being partially sighted in year six. And he's a clever boy. He's now in year nine, and actually the time pressure is on to make sure that those skills with his reading are closed to enable him to fully accelerate through his, his GCSEs. The potential's there for him to, to achieve, but the one-to-one -one tuition really enables us to accelerate that. Why, why do you think his finger's pointed up like that? Because that's a big thing that he's pointing away like that. Why, why do you think he's doing that? Because he had enough of the press, like, criticising him. Clever boy. Now I'm doing nutrition, yeah, I'm doing more in class of reading and writing because it's a lot easier now. I couldn't read or write in Year 7 and I used to just get wound up and see other people do their works. So I just, just bumped all my lessons. I used to get detentions quite a lot and that, like, just from boredom, where I couldn't bother to do nothing, I didn't know what to do. At first, when I, when I got told that I was going to do extra intuition, I thought, oh, what extra English and that? But it's not actually that bad as it seems, like, you get to do it, like, oh, Joy did it with me and I'll find out that Joy's proper nice and that, and um, it's actually better than English. It, it, sounds, it sounds weird, I don't know, but it's actually better than English, like, cos you just get to, like, do in your own space and that. OK, so what sort of message do you think, then, that the writer of this article is sending to us? Is it underage sex or rape in the picture? I reckon that's what he's trying to say. Yeah. And I suppose, really, it's like a rhetorical question. You don't actually know if it is or not, but... I would say, in my opinion, I'd say I don't think it was. I would just say it was underage sex, like... OK, Shanice, so at the end of our last session, what we were looking at is that you're still having a few issues when we're subtracting a negative number. Yeah, cos I don't get why... Like, I thought a negative and negative made a positive, but then when the answer's a negative, I don't understand it. Right, OK. When I was first told that I was going to be put in for the one-to-one -one tuition in maths, I was a bit gutted because I thought I felt really stupid to be honest I felt well well you know but 
once I got into it and once I went in and it was like the first, I think it was the, the second or third lesson was when I started to feel really good about it. Because the first one I felt really like, I was just so quiet. I was felt intimidated. Like I thought, oh, only stupid people go in here, but it's not. What's the original equation? Because we're doing four. Yeah. Okay. As the students overcame their initial anxieties and realised how much it was helping them in class, their enthusiasm for the tuition increased. All right, OK. And then... So that makes... Shanice, that I tutored, um, had a maths exam a couple of weeks ago and came to see me to say, can I have some extra sessions, please? Can you fit me in? Because I really want to go over this and this. And in talking to the maths teachers that they're in, they're saying they're far more confident, far more willing to just try. Um, they're not afraid to get things wrong anymore as well, as well as actually being able to kind of build on the key things that they needed to work on in terms of curricular targets. OK, so if you're in the maths exam, Shanice, and this was a question that came up, how do you think you don't be able to put what you're doing here actually in your answer? Well, I think if I didn't get the question, I think I'd like, probably just draw out a quick sketch of a number line just so I understand Fantastic, what I'm doing. that's what I'm looking for. Even though it's just for maths, my tuition, it's boosting my confidence for classes like science as well as in English. And I'm not like scared to put my hand up and get the question wrong because I know that they're going to help me. Like, they're not there to judge if I get it wrong, they're there to teach me. It enables these kids to grow in confidence. Number one, because they've been identified as being so important to have it in the first place. But also, secondly, that relationship you're able to build with them as a one-to-one -one tutor that helps them go forward specifically with where their weaknesses are. Beforehand, I was just like... I wasn't very confident with maths. I was just like, yeah, the answer's probably wrong anyway. But like after the tuition, I'm like, yeah, I reckon the answer's right and sort of thing. I'm more confident within myself. Yeah. You've got to persuade someone like your side of the argument. Yes. So they've got to believe it. Good. Courtney so, yeah. has really come on in oh, lessons. She's now really keen to answer questions. She's really keen to show how well she can do and how well she can be doing in class and with the topics that we're covering. Um, she also has very, very rarely had detentions this year, if any, whereas last year it was a common occurrence. But now she's a real pleasure to have in the classroom. Yeah, it is worth it because it's helping me learn all the stuff which I haven't... I didn't get, so it's making me more confident in classes so I can actually put my hand up and answer more things and I can make more of a paragraph than like I, when I used to make only about two lines for a paragraph, now I'll make about five, so it's good. It's early days in terms of measuring the progress of, of the children, but I think at this stage, seven weeks in, we can already see it making a, a difference. Um, reports back from the children in terms of them feeling more confident, more positive, valued in terms of what they're doing. Also from their, their parents um, saying that they're feeling that their children are actually feeling better supported in, in school. And thirdly from their teachers who are starting to report back that these children are really starting to contribute in class and they can begin to see their progress accelerating.